Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where I'm doing Fear Street Seniors reviews. I just finished spring break um, at 5 in the morning and I have some thoughts. <laughs> um, this is number one, the Super Chillers. Um, so it's like massive and in this one we had two different storylines going on. So we had one involving Josie and Jennifer um, in Shadyside and then one involving Josh, Deirdre, Mickey, Gary, and Trisha. Um, in Arizona because they're going on a vacation at one of Trisha's farms that her family owns because she's really rich. Um, and so we're following these different storylines and for Josie and Jennifer and Shady's side they meet these two boys um, named Tim and Evan and they start getting weird messages um, on their cars and stuff saying like um, want to play a game or <laughs> jigsaw who like there's one that says want to play and they weren't even that threatening of messages they were just like messages and then there was I don't know what all of them were but they were kind of stupid so there was that storyline um and then in Arizona there's a whole thing going on with like this myth of this ghost bitch haunting the farm or whatever um and <laughs> this one is not that like, it's not as good as some of the other ones. It's not terrible, but like, you know, it's kind of boring, but not really. Um, but basically they're in Arizona and they're just hanging out and they start, there's another thing I need to mention. I'm sorry. I suck at reviews. Um, in the beginning of the book, Josh is, in, is confronted at an airport by this cowboy. Um, and it... Like, we don't really know the reason at first until later on when we find out that Josh accidentally took the cowboy's luggage. Um, and it had, there's a gun in it. And we find out that this cowboy is kind of a really bad guy that has a motive for going to Trisha's farm. So a lot of the harassment that they deal with, like Josh, he thinks like there's a ghost or something in his room. He thinks that it's actually the guy that was the cowboy. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm sleep deprived. Um, and there's another instance where Mickey put pillow, or no, I think, no, it was the cowboy. He put pillows under Mickey's bedding and put a knife in it and said, this is going to happen to you if you don't return the coyote. Um, and it turns out Mickey's stupid ass got a coyote that's worth a million dollars and put it in his pocket. And there's this other girl we get um, introduced to named Rose, and she just, like, lives on the farm with her dad named Simon. Um, and it's, like, Josh's love interest for this book. Um, and I have quite a few critiques I need to bitch about, storyline-wise. Um, and it turns out Rose and the Yeehaw Cowboy fuckhead were working together. So that happened, and the senior death in this book was Deirdre Palmer, which was one of the twin sisters and she was like one of the heroes in the thirst um and it was very disappointing the way she died so basically near the climax of like the arizona storyline because that's the only interesting one in this book um they're backed up to the edge of a cliff and <laughs> deirdre's ass falls off and i'm honestly here's the thing mickey and dana palmer so deirdre's twin sister are dating and Deirdre is literally making out with her sister's boyfriend. So she died because she was being a hoe. Okay? Um, but, like, the dirt she was staying on, like, breaks. And then she falls off a fucking cliff. And her body, like, bounces. And there's a sickening crack. <laughs> and she dies. Um, so that happens. And then near the end, um, Josie and Jennifer try pranking these douchebag guys. Um, because it's revealed that they are the ones writing these messages and they're like putting them in danger to save them basically to get them the girls to be more attracted to them it's really stupid um, and so they go they like find out Josie finds out that the boys want to take them to like a high tower or something and like pretend to save them and they're like oh hell no and so they go to the graveyard and they're like, ooh, girl, we're going to prank them. And they call Dana Palmer, her sister, Deirdre's sister. Um, and Dana um, does a really good performance and looks like a ghost. And it turns out it's actually Deirdre saying goodbye. So that was really sad. Um, time to bitch. So 
the one thing I had an issue with, you know, there's a few things. Um, one thing that gets on my nerves in this book is there's a few chapters that are named like clickbaity ass things like Mickey is dead, Josh is dead, and then this one called Deirdre is dead, which is actually the only one that actually happens. Um, Mickey should have died. The, so many more people could have died. And that's one thing that gets on my nerves about this series is there's so many like moments where a character could die and just up the kill count. And he just doesn't do it. He doesn't go for like the obvious kill and then just kills off a random person like Deirdre who just falls off a cliff like it, within the last like 30 pages of the novel, if even that. So that kind of gets on my nerves. Another thing is Josh dated Deborah. And if y'all don't remember who Deborah is, she died in book four called No Answer. And she was pushed down five stairs by Mira Block, Mira Cock. We're going to call her that now. Um, and in this book, she's not even mentioned. Like, he is over his dead girlfriend. And it's like, are you serious? You're a douchebag. Um, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to bitch about. <laughs> Like, this book isn't terrible. I know it sounds like it from what I'm saying, but, you know, there's a few things that could change. Um, and every character in these books are a piece of shit. Like, they all cheat on each other. <laughs> it gets on my nerves. Um, I just am going to end the video because this is getting really long. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more Fear Street Seniors reviews. Um, so, yeah, bye.